what WCD does, and currently we have 32 chapters around the world, and our Paris chapter is one of our largest, most dynamic, um, is to connect women around the world. Boards are going global and members and mindset. We want to be able to help each other, uh, provide board seats, be the best in corporate governance we can, to share best practices, and to all be better directors. At Women Corporate Directors, we are working very hard to have companies be leading edge around the world, and to us, leading edge is four more women on the, on the board. And we've actually, one way that we can be working with the Women's Forum for Deville going forward uh, is working on a new call for action that we have. And this call for action uh, calls for uh, leaders around the world to work to build more diverse boards, boards that are multi-skilled, multi-gender, multinational, multi-generational, and to work together to make sure that we are uh, advocating and mentoring uh, women to get onto boards, that we're assuring that every director sl slate that goes to the nominating committee has at least one woman on it. We declare diversity a necessary component of good governance. You know, really, life is one big interview. And what you need is when that board is deciding who they're going to choose, is to have some of that room that is your advocate. They can be their advocate because they've actually gotten to know you uh, on a nonprofit board, on an advisory board, uh, at an industry conference, or, or they read about you. So it's very important to prepare yourself to get onto a board, to be seen as a leader in your industry, to be seen as a leader in some key nonprofits or advisory boards so people see your skill sets, and to uh, be known as someone that can disagree without being disagreeable, is a sharpshooter, not a hip shooter, a person that can sit around the table, get along with others, but ask good questions. There are a number of skill sets that you need to learn to go onto a board. Interviewing for a board slot is not the same as interviewing for a job. When you're interviewing for a job, it's all about the teams you've led. It's all about uh, what you can achieve. When you're interviewing for a board, it's how you can sit around a room, fit into a culture, and how you can sort of work with others but not be in charge. So yes, there is training that is needed on how to do that interview. Uh, there's training that is needed how to present your resume, uh, how to work with search firms, how to work with nominating committees. I think what has come out of this conference is an opportunity for women from five continents to be able to connect, to be able to uh, go deep fast over table topics, over best practices, to be able to go to each of the sessions and say, what can I learn from this? What questions should I be taking back to uh, my boardroom? Because what directors do best is ask good questions, help management think beyond the next quarter uh, into the next few years and the future of the company. Having the connections to this global institute gives directors the opportunity when they're looking at an acquisition of it, looking at going into a new market, to be able to say, I know someone in that country, I know someone in that industry, I know someone on the board we're looking at, and to be able to make that personal connection. Now more than ever in this world, trust is a key ingredient. It's more important than gold or diamonds. Being able to have someone that you know that you can trust is priceless. <music>